Hello artists, I hope you're ready because today we are gonna start our printmaking unit. Now we're gonna try a couple of different techniques to make some really bright, bold, colorful prints. You'll see in my example that I used an elephant as my subject. You can use any animal you like. I also made a super cute koala. And uh, let's get started. Now printmaking is the act of making pictures or designs by printing them from a special plate or a block. In our case, we're gonna use a styrofoam printing plate. All right, here we go. You're gonna need some paper, the styrofoam printing plate. Please make sure your name and table code are on the back on the tape. Uh, you're gonna need a pencil. For our first prints, we're gonna use washable markers. And for our second prints, we'll use some printing ink. We're gonna need a bench hook and a brayer, which is a type of roller that we roll the ink on with. Uh, we're also going to use a baron, and that helps us transfer the image from the block to the paper. We're also going to need some scissors. All right, here's the first thing I did. The first thing I did was I took my printing plate and I traced it into my sketchbook so I knew exactly the size of my printing plate. Then I drew a very simple elephant shape. We don't want to make it too complicated, and you'll find out why later. And then I just divided up the background. In this case, I kind of divided it you know, sort of a radial design from the center. It's up to you how you want to divide it, but then you want to fill those spaces with lots of different patterns or designs. It's up to you what kind of designs you want to use. Then I added a few extra little decorations to my elephant. And once I did that, then it's time to transfer this design onto my printing plate. Now you could trace it, but it's sort of a multi-step process. In the end, I felt like it was just easier to draw it straight onto the styrofoam. The only problem is, of course, you can't erase it once you start drawing on the styrofoam. Now, I stuck pretty closely to the design in my book. I did change a couple of little things, and that's totally all right to do. And uh, you wanna make sure you use a pencil that's not too sharp because sometimes that will tear the um, styrofoam. Once you've filled the whole uh, image with your lines, then you're gonna use the washable markers and color it in. This is a fairly messy process because the um, ink from the markers gets on your hands really easily. So you wanna be kind of careful when you do this because it's easy to smudge it. So I'm filling up my entire background first and you can use the skinny markers or the fat markers, doesn't matter, they're the same. And then I'm gonna color my elephant gray it didn't have to be gray, I could have made him any other color. I take my piece of paper and I use a damp sponge and I wet it down. I don't want it too wet, but I do want it damp. Then I'm gonna place it over top of my printing plate. Then I'm gonna take the wet sponge again and roll it over the back. And then I'm gonna take the brayer and I'm gonna roll it over my um, paper and printing block. And you can see the color is starting to see through. That is a good thing. Now, I should have rolled it a little longer. There's a couple spaces that could have been a little darker, but there you go. It's a pretty cool uh, print. And here's the example I made of my koala. You can see that I did circles in the background of him. He looks like he's floating around in a bunch of bubbles. All right, now once we've tried that printmaking, now it's time to start with some printing ink. So I'm using the bench hook, and I've got the ink on the bench hook, and now I'm gonna roll it over top of my printing plate. I want to make sure that it's nice and even and that I get right into the corners. The ink makes this really cool sort of squishy noise when you've got just the right amount of ink on it. You, you'll almost hear the, the difference. Now make sure your paper has your name and table code on it. Again, I'm going to place it on top of my um, printing plate and I'm going to use the Baron this time to rub right to the edges and the corners and make sure I press nice and evenly across it so that I print that yellow elephant onto my paper. And you can see there was a little bit of marker left on there. I kind of like that. Okay, here's why I said to make sure your animal shape is pretty simple, because you're gonna cut it out. All right, now that I've cut out my elephant, I am going to use a different color of ink and I get it loaded up on my brayer and I roll it over top of my elephant. You have to be really careful because they're a little bit more delicate this time. And once I have him covered in ink, I'm gonna very carefully place him on top of the elephant on my yellow print. And once I line him all up, I'm gonna press him down. I'm gonna take a piece of magazine or newspaper and put it over top and then use the Baron again to rub it until I press that ink on. And voila, there you have it. My two colored 
elephant print. Um, so we're going to start with the first one and then go on to the second one. I hope you have fun with this project. Take your time, come up with a great design. I can't wait to see what you create.